Is a breaker bar really necessary? I've never used such a big one in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Carefully, you don't whack I'm yourself. Just something this big here. <laughs> I like how I choke up on it, though. Wow. <laughs> All this talk about whacking and choking with a whoa, careful where you're swinging that thing. <laughs> Got it on my parts wall somewhere. It is a gray servo. It is right here. Yeah, that's it. X Max upgraded servo 2085X. Yeah. Okay, so Proline, what are these? These are the brand, these aren't brand new. These have been around for a while, right? Yeah, like a year. Like a year, I think? A year, I Somewhere believe there, so. I Fifth scale tire, yeah? Yeah. Those are a soft compound. Yeah, look at the size of those. Actual bead locks, true, yeah, I believe. You got a fifth scale tire in here? Yeah. How long have you been collecting parts for this upgrade? Over maybe a year, two, well, close to two years, probably. It's been a while. Hey, how yeah. are you, by hey, the hey, way? Hey, hey, Welcome hey. Welcome back. Thank you, it's cheers. It's been a long time since we've seen the fifth scale boss. Yeah, it's been a little while. Uh, well, a lot of people are glad to see you back, and we want to see some fifth scales around here. And so I'm shocked <laughs> that you br look at this. This is the Kraken original tire. <laughs> this is my original low C5 tire, I believe. No, it's not. This is the Kraken tire, though, 10 scale tire. And then this big giant behemoth going on. I know. You could gobble it up even, hey? So funny. Huge. Okay, shocks, you got shocks on here. Look at these beauty metal teeth on on the gears. Where did you get the gears, Ev? Ah, uh, Facebook, somewhere from a guy on Facebook. Nice, completely unhelpful to anyone yep. that wanted to buy one. From the, uh, well, you know what? There's, forget, uh, you search, look on Facebook. Search your local X-Max groups. Exactly, I'm sure you'll find it out there. Here's a cooling fan. Looks like it's seen better days, or is that just a modification? Uh, that by... was to fit the stock motor originally. What? We're not using a stock motor? No. What do you want to use instead? Keep going? It's over there. Going over. I see some dog bones looking good. What is this? Oh, motor mount. Motor mount. I like that. ESC mount. ESC mount. Dun, 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 dun. I can't even open it. There we go. What? What kind of, what kind of pop is this? You just open it on the end. Is there a pull tab to sample this castle <laughs> pop? It's the size of a pop can. Holy cow, man. That's got to be close. It's close, that's for sure. Look at that. That's how big the motor is, guys. Insane castle motor. <laughs> that's massive, eh? Yes. Bum, 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 bum. Easy run. Yeah, there we with, go. Uh, Waterproof. I wanted a waterproof to keep up, you know, I mean, look of course. at the land we live in. Of course. Well, <laughs> it's waterproof right now, and if we're going to take it out for a good heavy bash in the mud or in the water like we wanted to. Yeah. It needs to stay waterproof for needs me. To stay how, waterproof. I, how I like to play. Okay, so number one, are we going to just rip the tires off or what? Yeah, let's rip the tires off, I guess, first. Hey. Away we go. I feel inadequate after watching your breaker bar using this, Everett. <laughs> My tool is not as large as yours. I've just admitted that on camera. <laughs> Probably works just as good though. It right? does, so it's not the using? size, that's right. It got the job done. It's stuck in there. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I had the problem of too. Yeah. My immense forearm strength now that I'm married. <laughs> I didn't even need the breaker bar. What? <laughs> There's a pin system. Like if you look, indubitably, right here, you hold on this. Uh, yes. What's called a spacer, maybe, to hold the wheel on. Yes. What are you talking about? Yes. I was just gonna take out the shock here, brother. Yeah. Knock yourself out. Oh, thank you very much. Like you did with your exhaust pipe. Well. We should show that picture. I like swinging pipes. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, though, send me that picture. Everett, I noticed that we're switching out these shocks, hence I'm removing the pin for yes. the shock. <coughs> I noticed that they're this beautiful red color. They must be upgraded, right? Like this is an upgraded shock. No, it's not upgraded actually. What I didn't share with you is that we are changing to all red because there's a theme you will see. Oh, a special theme. A theme. Oh, I like this, okay? Onward and upward then. That's right. Beautiful.
Yeah, it looks like just two screws maybe hold it in. I can't believe you sides. own this X Max for how long and you don't know how many screws holds it in. Uh, you know, I don't work on it too often. It doesn't break too often to be honest. <laughs> that's, that's, that's true. A lot of people would argue that you are not beating it up hard enough. Uh, we've got video proof. <laughs> and that's an excellent response. No, stand over here. You're okay. The light was coming down. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. What I like about the X Max, this is my, my Traxxas plug right now. Is, look at this. <laughs> One pin on this side. They had that one screw that kind of the edge of the screw holds the edge of the pin in. Everybody that owns one's like, I already know this. And then down on the bottom, right? Just making sure there's nothing in that hole. Taking out that one screw that holds the pin in, pushing it through from the other side. For such a giant truck, this thing is a piece of cake to work on. Look at that, the shock pops right So out. impressive. Yeah, instead of having a, you know, finagle with a whole bunch of stuff. You don't no, it's, it's, that's an awesome system. Love it. Clearly, I'm winning. <laughs> yeah. Everett, you can definitely crank those screwdrivers faster. You're, you're, out, you're out of practice, Ed. You got the magic touch. You, you're darn right. I'd like to pick up my pit game a little bit here. <laughs> time. Oh. Time. time. <laughs> Where's the other one? Oh, I see. He was just hiding stuff. <laughs> that strategy, man. It's not my fault if you can't keep up. <laughs> Where is the other one? <laughs> other what? Oh. You have to assemble that one. I took I it apart. <laughs> oh. oh. Hey, hey, if you work quick, if you work quick, you don't have issues like that. I see how it goes. I see. Oh. Now I'm nervous. Now I'm dropping. Now oh, you're in the presence of greatness. In the presence of greatness. <laughs> this thing needs a washing. Yeah, it is pretty dirty, man. Not a big deal, though. It feels like these are going to balloon like a son of a gun with that motor, man. Yeah, we'll see. They might. Yeah, probably going to. So... Did they have tape on the inside? <laughs> Take that apart. Dude, closer inspection. Look at this. You're snapped, man. Right yeah. there. That's uh, pretty gnarly looking. Right there. Right across. Yeah. The bell crank there, hey? Eh? Yep. Hmm. Do you have <laughs> another one of those? At home. Out another of all thing. the parts on the wall, it's the one thing I don't have. And you know the worst How typical is, I is that? I put it on the bench, and then I went, nah, I don't need it. No! <laughs> yeah, it should be free. There we go. Beautiful. Do you remember filming RC adventures in the basement of my other home in front of the blue screen? Of course. <laughs> think about it. How, how many viewers do you think are watching this video right now that have also watched those videos from back in the blue screen? I would bet you a ton. I think a ton as well. It, we had a lot of adventures there. Yeah. So we're having to keep on digging back here because we're going to be replacing it's that a spur surgery. Here. Yeah. Surgery. We got the motor out. Digging deep now. <laughs> Getting deep into the machine, into the guts now. My fingers are going deeper than I thought they'd ever go deep before. <laughs> oh my God. It's so dirty in here. Mm. So we're going to need some parts off of it. Yes. Oops, sorry that about stuff that. stuff there. Not that part. Yeah, we'll need that stuff to go on to the new one. You're all business today. Right here. I love this. Yeah. Yes, look at the, the difference. Yeah? You betcha. It's hardened like two steel one. gear. All right. Pin comes out. Pin goes in. Extra gear goes on. You don't have a replacement gear for this. No. Okay. You had to keep Just this stock keep that on. Pinion, yeah. Problem solved. Perfect. But I don't know. Do you want to maybe? Should we put the cover? Oh, thank you. I pre appreciate that. Just trying to give you some action here. <laughs> maybe this. we should put the cover back on that holds this into place. Yeah. Made in the USA. Of course we will. I don't know. I'm getting. Yeah, I bought that. No, 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 no. That's good. I bought that mount. Um, 
I don't know, two or three years ago. I wish I knew more about it, but it was so long ago, I don't really remember now. I don't know if this fella's still making parts or what. You have had all this for a long time then. Yeah, well some of it, I mean it's just been a, you know, when you have so many different RCs. Everyone thought we were fighting and you disappeared on RC No, no, ventures. no. What happened? I had a, I had a life changing a moment. That's right, <laughs> new house, new daughter. Uh, it means RCs are not as, you know, she's just brand as new still. It's happening right now. You're, you're, you know? you're currently working on the greatest build you've ever done, your daughter. Yeah, that, <laughs> that is true, and I'm trying to upgrade her. <laughs> we should probably put the motor onto it first, I would imagine, hey? No. So I'm going to have to put the camera down and no. look for some bolts for No. Me. No. Well, we don't have to. No, you mount are first. Correct. Mount you first. Are, you are correct. We don't have to. Mount first. Hey, uh, medic, what are you doing? What you doing there? You should have mounted the motor first. <laughs> it's a dumb idea to put the motor mount on first. I think the people watch the show the most when you're in it just to hear you laugh. Oh, maybe. I think that's pretty much where it's at. I hope so. Yeah, you inspire other people laughing. That's what it's all about. Exactly. So you're not laughing. Yeah, the opposite, the alternative is not is not a good one. Why are you playing with an RC? <laughs> exactly. Look at this. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Is this some sort of... I think this is what we all aspire to have for our battery connection tray. Yes. You know, what you make is this? You, got, you, know, you need a few cases of wires. You have some sort of disease. You <laughs> well, know that, right? You Look have how a lot organized. of RCs. You need you know, a lot it's of parts. gorgeous, man. You know, you need your extension cables, different kinds, different lengths. Man, oh man. You need your Traxxas connectors and your XT90. You guys thought I had it bad. Some wires, different gauges. Okay, this might have to be the last thing that goes on because it blocks the screws actually from tightening. Right, so to slide the motor up and down depending on where it needs to sit. That's right. Right at the end. Ah. Beautiful. Now it needs to come up again. You're gonna slide a piece of paper in there or what? Yeah, I think uh, what uh, we should do is uh, mount it back into the chassis and then we can set the height a little bit better. <laughs> Dude, what is that? Just give you a slight you know, angle. I like this, an extension yeah, for an the extension. bit. So MIP let's, bit. Let's just try it out. We're trying to see how many extensions we can get put on. I think we oh, should an oh, attempt an extension. Oh, that's, oh, we got the wrong one. <laughs> the wrong bit. Got ya. <laughs> Look at that. that. That's what you needed right there. Good. Crank on it, man. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's just so, so lovely. It's so nice and tight. Okay, so many of you right now are going to be like, I know RC Sparks, I already know this, but look at this. Here is the flat spot on the motor shaft. That's where your set screw is supposed to go. I'm going to slide this on, but look at where I want that motor, when I, those two gears to mesh up nice and flush, that set screw goes underneath the mount a little bit. There's no way I can get it in. Now, a lot of people would be frustrated, but remember, you can simply just turn it around and basically have the same thing. You can tighten it up on the flat spot and as long as you got enough motor shaft there, problem solved. Yeah, agreed. I was told never cut towards myself. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I was cutting the center part out of the X-Max. <laughs> The electronic speed control. Holy cow! <laughs> yeah, Dude! Look at the size of that sucker, hey? <laughs> yeah, this is the Max 5. They have a Max 6 as well. Look wow. The size of that at 8 gauge wire. <laughs> wow. We have to get connectors on that somehow. I am getting I am getting out a uh, uh, 8 scale. I only have a 10 scale one. Yeah, he's got the holes pre done on this. That is how huge this is. Yeah, we're just trying to figure out right now how, it looks like these four screw holes line up with these four. And then we're trying to figure out where this goes because I bought it so many years ago, I don't remember. This will solve everything. Just wrap it up in tape. <laughs> oh, zip, you. zip tie it. You know, I was kidding when I said zip tie. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we are drilling right into this rail right here and into the back. You can see one right here. This yeah, I'm sure there's different, focuses. I noticed that the screw holes are was different positions you could put it in, but this is where uh, Yeah, we're shows. lined up. It made sense to us. It's not like it's going to be under a ton of stress right now. We just drilled a few holes and putting in slightly larger screws and one more to go. One more! 
Hey, hey. I, I can see the theme is gray on the inside. Gray on the inside, <laughs> yes. <laughs> are you happy? Oh, man. Are you finally, un are you ready Woo! to unveil the X-Max? Man, this is... What is, oh, what is oh. the theme? In three, two, one, ba-bam! There it is. Yeah. Holy cow, man. Dude. It is the Ford Raptor for those ah. that are not paying attention. Looks disgustingly awesome. Could you do me a favor, since we don't have any yes. batteries to, to light this up, people want to hear this in motion. I just want you to roll those pinion and, and, and spur. Oh, it sounds angry. It growls, man. It, it growls. It growls on its own. Man. Holy cow. That ain't no Sen Reaper, man. That that's no. a, That is a different looking rig right there. Look at that thing. Yeah, those tires are pretty baller. Dude. Wow. What a beast. You're going to have to come back now once you get your batteries. Other people do conversions like this. Exactly. <laughs> that's what you do with all your stuff, though. It's always crazy, hey? <laughs> Everyone wants to know how much this would have cost. Say, out of the, it's all Canadian dollars. Canadian dollars so yeah. reduce it by a multiple of 50 for any other currency <laughs> except much, Australia, yeah. right? Well, I mean, you know how we said at the beginning, you know, when you've been collecting parts for so long? It's because of price. So, you know, every few paychecks, I'd buy another piece. Yeah, and you've been collecting for years, you said now. Yeah, exactly, right? So, I mean, the tires were about 300 Canadian. Yeah. Right? Then you got, when you start getting on the inside, I mean, the that's, body, hold on. That's not MR, even the body. MR Paint, I mean, I, I paid him to do it. How right? much How much for paint? Ah, man, I think it was Three, like 150 American. 150? I think, Kay. plus body maybe? American. I think, plus body. So right? 200 plus the body, that's 300 for the body, 300 for the tires. Uh, yeah, um, then the motor right here was, if I had to guess, like 350 Canadian. Yeah, yeah, ESC. ESC was probably like 350 Canadian. Right. Uh, then the gears I bought, I think I paid like 150 American for that. And so 200? The mount was, I think, another 150 with both. The no like way. I can't remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's I mean, not way that off, mount. man. I want to clarify. I bought that mount like two, three years ago, starting the process. Yeah. And I bought the motor then, too. This is why we haven't so. seen you. You've been off earning money just so yeah. you could. You know, it's definitely uh, when you're <laughs> it's, you're in for the long haul if you're going to upgrade it, right? Yeah. And, and so what you're going to do next is send it. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That we're going to go to an awesome money area. Is that, is that, is that a waste for you, though? Do you nah, think it's a waste? That's where the fun is, right? That's the fun. That's the whole thing? And then you wash it and you, you go again. It. Go again. Wash it, fix it. Man. RC, eat, sleep, repeat, Obviously, RC. You know, this goes to the batteries, but. Uh, look, at, look at that great job your uh, friend Aaron did on yeah, that, eh? Hey? Wow. Of Dude. Put the batteries in, we're ripping. Killer job. Boom. Hence why we got green and you got red. Makes more sense now. Yes. Just growling beam. We want to see it under power, man. Oh, soon. <laughs> 